Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, oh my, a blitz. Um, Vava with his Brainless Chaos team, and uh, Balint with his Lizardman team, and uh, yep, you know, Chaos vs Lizards seems one-sided, but then when you look at the teams, it's actually there's only one Claw Mighty, and it's got Tackle not piling on, um, so it's not that lethal a Chaos team at all. It's a decent Chaos team, but... Um, Nothing super exciting. Berlin only gets a Bloodwiser babe. And he's also hasn't got a great Lizardman team, to be fair. Two really nice Saurus. Block Guard Saurus. Guard Crocs. But two Rookie Saurus and a Block Saurus. And a nice Skink. And, but starting with getting blitzed on. Pretty much sucks. Both players with 12 men. Hmm. And yeah, this, this Blitz is a bit, bit of a pickle. But you know he's lizard, so he, he'll still smash everything down with two dice. Okay, free two players, lovely. Obviously, blitz the tackle. Maybe he should have tried to get the tackle somewhere else. Um, because that tackle's always going to get targeted there, isn't it? Because it wasn't that easy to put in some, someone else here. But, like, if you'd put the tackle there and the other guy there, then the other guy, like, the dirty player gets blitzed if, if he's there, whereas the tackle's always going to get blitzed there. Bit, so maybe a bit of a misposition by Varva. There. Stupid, uh... Crocs hurts a little bit, but can just do the old skink run away, can't he? I don't like this uh, skink just like in no man's land here. He could have moved it there to like make a screen or back down here to like try and stop them, something coming through which I'm just standing around. It's a bit unlucky, a uh, bit unlucky dodge there, isn't it? Brutal. I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hello, Coven Mixer. Oh. So, yep, yeah, obviously, Core Solus every turn. Quite a lot of tackle here. Well, I mean, one's been cast out, but four tackle is actually pretty good versus the Skinks, isn't it? Stop the skink bullshit a little bit. Oh, terrible crocs. Now these are in a shit position, just standing up to get banged. Blitz really, uh, really uh, screwing up this drive for the lizards. Yeah, there's a cooldown on it. I don't know why it's not working. I'll, I'll do it for you. The crabs I gave my flatmates were the best crabs could ever get, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice chaining an extra block, lovely. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it, yeah, Nick? Yep. <laughs> As always, the best part of my stream is other people's streams. <laughs> Oh, a nice little chain there. Do you shoot a chain, guys? Oh, it doesn't use it to hit. A, doesn't use it to hit the skink next to the ball. Use it to three D this one. Oh, no, he's just gonna blitz. Oh, okay, he's just gonna dodge away and hit the ball. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Not what I would have done, but it kind of works. 
I've been space cadeted one too many times, I think. I'd, I'd tend to not like speculative ball blitzes like that. Doesn't mean that speculative ball blitzes like that are incorrect, of course. This is the thing, isn't it? But I would feel here that I was pretty much in control of the chaos. I would have been quite happy hitting that, that skink on 3D. Oof. Huge 3 plus dodge there. Maybe should have done the ball carrier dodge first, so that if the reroll was used, um, still be able to dodge out the edge for, or like, you know, at least be downfield. Oh wow. Huge. It's not that huge, but for the drive it's pretty, uh, now he'll, now he'll definitely, like now the dodge off I think is fine, right, because they're behind you, you're in a, you're in a bit of a pickle. Though I would have definitely hit with a warrior there to get these both beastmen back. 100%. There's a decent amount of mighty blow on these chaos. Not that that one has it, but they're not totally toothless. But only one claw is the thing, isn't it, for killing the souls? Again, puts in the reroll. I'm not sure about the sidestep there. I might have sidestepped one up so that, you know, a bit of a Thomas T sidestep. If you sidestep there, then you're threatening the surf on him next turn. Whereas he could have, uh, he could have like, GFI and based here or whatever. Oh wow, the tackle does the job again. What a difference having four tackle versus a this lizard man team. And getting the ball off the edge four, right? Because if the edge four had it, you'd have made that dodge. So, yep, great stuff from the chaos, you gotta say. Well, you don't gotta say, of course, I'm sure. Artemis said it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> I really do like how much tackle he's got on this Chaos team. Like that's that's why I didn't take my uh, the best ever Nurgle team in CCL history. I didn't take them in Chalice because I only had like one or two tackle, whereas my Chaos had four, and I think it. It is really nice having four tackle on a chaos team. Really nice. Because ultimately, like you should beat all the bash teams, so I think it's fair to like you know take a bit more tackle than you might think you need to deal with the elves. There is a way to hit the ball here, but he's got a guard. Last three roll gone. And a blockless block. No, it wasn't a blockless block. No, it was a blockless block, yeah. Last three roll gone and a blockless block. Though it was it was dub skulls. But it was a blockless block. Tackle again. What a bad ass. Got us. Uh, he's got no rerolls left, Varvar, -Var, but he's got to start thinking about the uh, counter score, hasn't he? Oh, I hate this. 
I pretty much hate not blitzing the crocs here. And then a 1D? What? He's got no rerolls. What are you playing at, man? Oh, dear. Well, he has the crocs, so it was definitely the right play. comes in instant yep, no rush to come forward glorious no I won't give in instant until I'm victorious and I will defend I will defend you're right dead I do know nothing and I'm like John Schnee and thank you very much, Corwin Lexter, for subscribing for two glorious months. Oh yeah. Half a beaver pregnancy. Oh wow. Oh man. Huge removal. Not particularly relevant to the drive, but great for the match, isn't it? It's like a you know, good blitz. Great result. And don't say it's over. But it's really fucking bad for the lizards. Where is my brains? Should be, of course, where is my brain? Or where are my brains? So maybe that was the joke. Who knows? Yes, game of vision. I've got a... I've got a... I've got a feeling. Normally I've got the... Uh, intuition of a... Of a rock wall. What did Hancock say about about Machina? <laughs> uh, whatever he said. Um, but this time, I've I've got a pretty good feeling for the chaos here. I mean, it could be part of the joke, couldn't it? Where is my brains? You can catch like a mongoose though. <laughs> Rock hard. Oh man. Rock hard's so good, isn't it? VGP, man. A long tradition of stealing people's content on this channel. But they were absolutely rock hard today. And so was my cock. <laughs> Restless. What can I do for you? <laughs> oh, so good. Oh man, the Lord of the Rings thing. I hope I hope Skuro finishes that one day. It is every skink gun, yeah. Just kill the skinks. Read it correct. Lovely backseeker three days. And the Kaz payoff for maxing three Ds and you know continuous blocking, fantastic. I have to uh, find out more about these boobies. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Also, kill the Crocs, <laughs> the Saurus, and Scorny Poison Driver. It's easy when you're all like this, isn't it? 
It's pretty easy to beat lizards when you're all like this. And get a blitz. Start the match with a blitz. This this sure is looking over. I mean, I'd say it's over, but I'm not Elliot. The rowdy Christmas gnome says, Don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when it's over. Now, Voro, it's over. <laughs> Not technically over. There is still a chance. There is still a chance. And we've got to sit through the rest of the match. While that chance doesn't happen. Remember that song, Wake Me Up When It's All Over? That was a good song, wasn't it? Can't play it because I'll get done for uh, for copyright. Avicii, twenty thirteen. Four. <laughs> yeah, you can. Wow. See you, Daedle. And everybody watching the YouTube video. I will now talk slower so you can still listen at uh, double speed as you, as you get this one over with. <laughs> Not a lot to say. It's over. Technically not over. There's a skink that can come and do something with the ball, but value for this? Oh. Not really. But it is good having extra arms in this situation, right? Because one of the few one of the few ways you can not win is repeat a feeling or pick up the ball. So having now having a one in thirty six instead of one in nine is actually pretty good. Like, it's not worth the TV, but at least it adds something. I kind of don't like leaving this, this open. Um, again, it doesn't really matter versus five lizard men. But it would let him, you know, pressure the ball, do something. Doesn't need a score though, does he? he? Just needs to play super safe now. Two re rolls. Make the balls. Make sure the ball's protected at all times. Well, you know what happens if you double skull here? Um, well, he could hit the ball, so maybe you move the ball first, you know? But he didn't do that, but he could have done. He absolutely could have easily just done all both of these moves and the ball. And this warrior. He could have moved all of these guys. And that warrior. He could have moved all of these guys to these exact positions before he made that block. So all of this could have been done first. Then he could have made that block. But, um... That's the thing. You, you've got to play like that. Like, when you're against five fucking lizard men, right? There's, there's kind of no excuse. Like, it's not the worst thing ever, obviously. And, like, nobody needs to be vilified or anything. But... You know, at the end of the day, you're up against five lizards. The only thing that you've got, you know, you've used your reel for the turn. It's pretty much the only thing you can fuck, that can fuck you, so you've just got to play around it a little bit, haven't you? You've got plenty of time to score. It's not like you're desperate for, you know, move the ball two squares forward. Just make, make sure you play absolutely mega boring safe. I am sure against four Saurus and a Skink that playing mega, mega safe, the absolute safest it's possible to play, is definitely the correct play. And it's 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 arguable that it's mostly the correct play, to be fair. Like, you know, there's, there's an argument to be made for just always making the safest, most boring moves. 
see, look how like he ex he, he was exposed there, right? If he if he if he double if he quad skulls there, then he punches him, and then he can tag and he can get two dice on the ball. Now, obviously, he couldn't move the ball here without doing that blitz first. But um, did he have to? It's it's turn eleven, you know. Just make move the ball here, totally safe or whatever, and and you've got plenty of time to get through. You don't have to. You know, whenever I'm playing as elves, I really, really, really don't want to have the game on the line to one in thirty six. And here, I don't want to use my rerolls, and I don't want to leave have the game lost on a one in twelve nine six. And I, I know that sound, may sound stupid, but and I, I think you can't play that save all the time. I think you often can't play around one in twelve nine sixes because you know then you're losing a lot of value um, by like what you could be doing. Do you know what I mean? Like the opportunity cost, if you like, of playing safe. You can play. I think you. I think. That you definitely can play too safe, um, normally, but I think there's no such thing as playing too safe when you're this far ahead. But it's not going to matter because he is that far ahead. <laughs> But still. I mean, it's pretty over, isn't it? Now he eats the dub skulls. I mean, he's been pretty unlucky. He's like rolled a dub skull like every turn this half. <laughs> Maybe Veron. Mr. Yemen Dem gifted me it. <laughs> so I haven't got that excuse anymore of not having it. Like I want to be able to enjoy it. It's just that It's just that um I haven't for a long time. He could surf here, he could surf this uh, wizard man, but I think it's correct to just, again, play safe, move, protect the ball. And obviously try and get SPP on your claw guy, it's better than surfing at this point. The surf would purely have been for a, ooh, look at my big brain. I was able to do a couple of chains and get him removed. <laughs> Which is a bit stupid, isn't it, when your opponent's got two players left. <laughs> and another cast. Yeah, this is surprisingly chaos that remove a player every single turn. Um, beat lizard man, yep. Yeah. Eight cast. Three kills. But it's not over. It's not over, guys. Don't say it's over. <laughs> I don't know what accent this is. It's de definitely doesn't sound anything like Elliot. <laughs> but it's great that Elliot does an Elliot voice. It sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, well, he's only got one clock, mate. Like you would not expect that. You know, you'd have expected like a monster, monster team like Nick's team from a couple of seasons ago to do this. My my rebel team to do this. But um. Just doing this with uh He's got four tackle. The four tackle is nice for making things tricky for the skinks, for like winning the game and stuff. But yeah, just uh Just brutal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sage's rebel team was not very rowdy, but uh they sure rolled the dice rowdy. <laughs> My rebel team did roll the dice sometimes, you know. It was, it was, it predominantly rolled pretty good dice.
It was only in the big games where it mattered that they rolled shit. Alright. The dead wrestler doesn't really matter, does it? Not even dead, just missed next. Eight dead saurus. <laughs> Well, lizard man. Brutal. He could one turn with a quick snap. Not even trying. What a loser. <laughs> I don't think he could have <laughs> quick snapped it. I don't think he could have scored with a quick snap. <laughs> Core might have been able to, but. Uh... I think we can all forgive him for not trying a one turn at 2 0 down. <laughs> With three players. <laughs> and relying on a quick snap. Right, well, there you go. Um, congratulations, Vava. Commiserations, Ballant. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a comedy mega dicing, wasn't it? Only 12 AV breaks. Only 12 AV breaks into nine cars and four KOs. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable efficiency. Incredible. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.